The woman steps forward from the shadows. Her face and clothes say she recently took some kind of beating, but her eyes tell you she's not anywhere near done. Hey, what happened? Nothing that concerns you, says the woman, her voice dead and flat. You must be Faith Ward. Earl sent me. They killed my family, says Faith. Her voice wavers for a moment. I want them to pay for what they've done. They will. Now tell me what happened. We found a key on the body of a dead diver deep down in the mission control ruins. He had it tucked away in his breast pocket right here. She points to her heart as she says it, then pauses a moment. Do you know what it's like out there? The work, I mean. Our days are spent sifting through piles of junk, looking to turn the littlest kind of profit. Broken down droids that might have a part or two worth jimmying out. Batteries and smashed plasma weapons that might still hold a charge. Skeletons with battered old implants. We're trying to make a living out of a fool's errand, but most of us think there's some chance of striking gold out there. I never did myself. Not until I saw that key. What happened next? My father made a deal with Lazarus Folly. Took my brother and two men who worked for us with him. Show of strength, he said. Two tears trickle slowly down her cheeks, but they somehow only make her seem harder. My father, my brother, the hired hands, they didn't return. But Folly's men did. Came after me that very night, cleaning up loose ends, I guess. Huh, they sound like thorough people. What makes this key so valuable? How many electronic keys have you seen in your life? Not an access card, but a real electronic key. I've never even seen that lock that goes with a key like that. It stands to reason that whatever's behind the door fitting that key is worth a fortune. Could be it opens up the command center itself, who knows? Oh, huh, could be. So how am I going to find this folly? He's probably s staying out of sight. That's the easy part, says Earl, appearing out of nowhere. I will send word to folly that I have a buyer for the key. Whether he intends to make an honest sale or ambush you like he did the wards, he'll arrive with his men ready for war. I'd best get ready, then. I am ready. I'm good. Yeah, 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 yeah we, we're good. We're, we're fine. Well, actually, uh, just making sure level two, everything is fine. Let's go. Faith looks at you expectantly, staying silent. Did Folly take the bait? Faith nods. He'll be waiting for you in warehouse E4. I can take you there when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's follow her to the meeting place. You're standing outside the warehouse. Folly and his men are waiting within. It's time to consider your options. So I can distract Folly with my witty repartee while Faith sneaks inside and takes him out. Uh, that would be interesting, although I would be the one... I should be the one to do that. Let's distract Foley with my witty repartee while Faith, uh, Faith sneaks inside and takes him out. Yeah, I can, I can do that, because I got uh, Streetwise. Here's the renowned Lazarus Foley. He looks like a hard one, as advertised. His henchmen are just filler, though a stray bullet can kill you just as dead as one fired by a marksman. You ain't no scav, says Foley. And that means you've never seen the inside of Mission Control. So you ain't here to buy the key, are ya, boy? Oh, I'm not going to skulk in the ruins looking for the magic door, if that's what you are asking. I'm going to sell the key in the habitat for twice as much. Really? Asks Foley, eager to pump you for info. Good market there. It looks like Faith will have plenty of time to get in position. I'm going to keep talking. You tell Folly what he wants to hear, giving Faith enough time to get inside. Finally, you see her emerging from the ventilation hatch at the other end of the warehouse. Who's your buyer? asks Folly, feigning indifference. Maybe I know him. I will clip talking. You accuse Folly of trying to cut you out while telling him enough to figure out who the buyer is, had he existed in the first place. When Faith appears behind him, pale as a ghost and just as quiet, Folly's too busy milking you for info to pay attention to anything around him. This is actually really smart. Um, she strikes once, then twice, and Lazarus collapses, not quite dead yet, but well on the way. Taken by surprise, his men freeze for a split second, and I have initiative bonus, let's go! So, this is where... This is where we die. Not really. We're 4v3 right now. Yeah, this is doable. This is very doable. We got this. So, uh, that's Folly. Not dead, but on his way. Uh, let's see. I cannot click. Uh, I can click on us over here. That's pretty good. Okay, so Jed is melee. And I will get him here. 
to... Mm. Sorry. Jed? Go over there. What? I'm a little bit preoccupied. Jed, why can you not be here? Right? Yeah, you go over there, you smack that guy in the face. With a big truncheon. Yeah. And then, Evans can just stay back here. Jebediah, me, can be over there. And Faith. Faith has a pistol. And what else does she have? Oh, I can reload. Oh. That's bad. Let's try that again. I wanted to do this. Yeah, she has a knife. A toothpick, in fact. But we won't be, do be using that. I will put Evans right here. Because he's not moving out of there. And she may move out of there. But we're good. Use on ally. Use on... Oh, that's pretty good to know that it's possible to use on ally. Let's start combat. Oh, actually, because Evans go first. Goes first, it'd be... That'd be quite sad to do what I was just about to do. Let's do things like this. Start combat. Regular shot here. 80% chance to hit. That is quite different. That's a regular shot. 80% chance to hit. Very, very different from... From... Uh, how it's, it was going before. Okay, so I want to look at action point costs because a headshot may be better. Okay, that's a headshot. And then we do a regular shot. Yeah, headshot and reg uh, regular shot seems to be a good combination. And then Faith does have to hit chance. So she has 17... She has 17... Uh, ammo. Or action points. So I'll go for aimed shot. Or aimed head. It's another stagger there. Uh, let's go for another one. Nine action points. Let's see. The legs reduces their evasion. Oh. Legs are... Seven action points. Oh, this is a single shot pistol. Right. Well, I guess we're not shooting the legs. We're shooting... Uh, regular shot, snapshot. How much... Two action points. Yeah, let's go snapshot then. That's a miss. Unfortunate. Uh, and then, that's me. And I will shoot normal shots for experience or head shots. Let's do normal shots. That was a graze on the second. And a couple of grazes. Not a big deal. Okay, that guy has a pistol. That's a critical. I'm kneecapped, so that means I can't dodge as well, which is a big deal. But they are smart. They know what they're doing. Uh, and I will hopefully be able to attack you out of range. That's a shame. Close combat. Okay, so now you... You have a weapon, so I would like to attack your arms. Because I don't want you hitting me. And that is seven action points, so I'll attack you twice. Wait, does the maim not stack? I don't think it does. That's important to know. Oh, you're dead. Ah, oh, with a graze. Very nasty. Come on. SMG as well. I mean, we're good, but... But it's, uh... It's quite unfortunate. 29. Let's see what I can do. So, I can aim for the head here. 60%. Let's do it. Right there. Missed. And then a regular shot. That landed. And then you can finish the job here. With uh, just regular shots, I would say. Kill. Reload. Uh, press R. There we go. Hmm. Very nasty. Aimed head, please. That is nine action points. That's a critical. That is very good. I'll just keep you there. And you have uh, you are recovering because we are uh, we regenerate health. Uh, and uh, that's a problem. This guy. This guy is gonna shoot me. I guess I'll just go there. Close combat. I need, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure how any of that works. Do I have a, a six action points? No. I will have to reload, though. Now, ah, well. Just do a regular shot. And a graze. We're good. 
that's it. It's just a pistol. This guy doesn't seem to be very good. So he's just wasting ammo. Taking... Doing damage, make no mistake. Uh, let's see, aimed arms. Do we want to... Let's see, we have power attack. What are we doing here? 52. We could kill you with this. Power attack takes 7 action points. We could do the, two of these. It's a counter. It's a miss, though. And that's a kill. And that's... You have movement. So let's send you there. End the turn. Uh, I have... I actually have line of sight here. Which is a bit surprising. 47. Oh yeah, because this guy's standing up. Not shooting my friends. That's pretty good. Uh, there's no cover here. Really? If I move her there... We have an aim shot here to the head. I have no ammunition. I guess we're not doing aim shot now. So that's two action points. Do a regular shot and a, a reload. It's a graze and a reload. And I will do... Let's do aim for the hands. And now you don't do much anymore. And now I need to reload. And I likely will move back. Yeah, I'll move back over here. Well, I can switch places. Oh, I should have done that. Should have done that. Oh, well. Miss. It's dangerous. Yeah. I don't know what ability that is. Oh, nice miss. And now you die. 14 action points. That's a graze. Hmm. Power attack there. Not too shabby. Let's go for a headshot here. This rifle is really great because you just keep to have, uh, get to have so much ammo. And you get practice. Which is really crucial. So, Faith will be our pistolier. I'll aim for the head. Miss. Reload. And I'll do regular shot. Miss as well. And I won't have... I can switch places. Right. Aim for the chest. I think that increases the hit chance. And that's a kill. Alright. Faith kneels down by Lazarus's body and rifles through his pockets until she finds the key. It's an old ship-style key fob sporting a four-inch metal rod. It has to be a mechanical lock with an electronic control device that grants access to the lock. A lot of people died for this. She speaks slowly, as if unsure of what she's going to say next. But why? What's hidden behind that do goddamn door that's worth this many lives? Since my family, since my regular crew is dead, I'll need to hire her out for this run and pray they can see it through. I'm willing to take a chance on you if you want a job. Yeah, what's stopping me from taking the key and disappearing? Nothing, Faith replies painfully. But you don't know the ruins, and even if you did, you're not going to make it without outside help. Neither of us gets what we want without trusting somebody. Easiest thing would be to trust each other. Come with me, I might need your help. Faith nods, her eyes suddenly lifeless. I've never killed anyone before, says Faith, looking away. I know he had it coming, but it doesn't make it any easier. Lazarus was a mad dog that had to be put down. That, The less you think about it, the better. What if I can't? Then the next Lazarus will kill you. And then he'll kill more people. Unless you kill him first. Is this the only way? Kill or be killed? It's not. At least it shouldn't be. Faith nods, considering what you said. She seems relieved, as if a great weight has been lifted from her shoulders. Let's go. And yeah, we can talk to our companions. But now we have faith. And let's put that over there, over here, and over to there. Fantastic. Did I actually use... No, I didn't. I didn't use any... Any consumables. We have three of these. And obviously, we are injured, but that doesn't matter. What is faith like in terms of her skills? She has sneak. No, that's me. She does have sneak, though. And she has lockpick, which is the reason why I wanted her uh, in the party. But I don't think it matters. You can have all these. And she can help you. But the good thing about her is that you can have her do critical. You can have... Yeah. So let's see what her build is like. High dexterity, high perception. Or not high perception. High dexterity and high intelligence. The intelligence is good because it adds, I think, three... 
tagged uh, skills, so that's pretty good. I'm just going to go up on pistol immediately because that's pretty crucial. She's only level 1, though, but she will catch up eventually. It's kind of nasty that she's she's a while back in, in experience, but, you know, whatever. And computers. I'm already good in electronics. Am I already good in computers, though? No, I'm level 2. So, um, I only lost, like, 20 experience, I believe. How much experience... Yeah, 20 experience is what you get by using a level zero computers. Um, yeah, so I only lost 20 experience. So if I bring this up, she will be able to have computers better. And I will do that. Uh, and then, in terms of everything else... I mean, obviously, we could make her better than us at lockpicking. But I think that's... I don't think that's worthwhile. She has bladed up there. She has very little strength, so I think she'll need evasion and critical strike. Critical strike is a really good skill to have in dialogue, though. But we don't. We do not have that. Even though it would fit our build. It's just that you know, we can't have that. So, that's that. And she has a thief minus one noise generation and plus 25% skills gained in sneak. Lockpick and steal. She, that's really good, actually, but whatever. Educated as well, and no modifiers on indifferent... What's that all about? No, that's her, uh... That's her, um... Her relationship with us. Right. We should talk to her. We should talk to Jed as well, but let's talk to her first. I want to ask you a few questions. What do you want to know? You think we're going to make it to Proxima Centauri? I'm sure we will. The ship's old, but she's still space-worthy. Maybe it will even happen in our lifetime. Can you imagine it? No, I can't. How would we know? Hmm, good question. The bridge is sealed, but the automation systems would have no problem landing the ship without human guidance. Why is it sealed? The mutineers wanted to turn the ship around, so the ship authority sealed the bridge to make sure we stay on course. The mission above all, she says, quoting the protector's slogan. Being very evo evocative as well about just how bad they were. Turning the ship around, why? They learned that Proxima was already inhabited when the ship was well on her way. Now it's common knowledge, but back then it caused quite a stir. Remember, the early generations thought themselves pilgrims, called by God to the promised land. Turned out he had given it to another. I'm sort of inter It's sort of interesting that everybody's so aware of the mission and the Proxima Centauri being inhabited and stuff like that, even though... I would think people like this, where, like, their day-to-day -day life seems to be very... It's tricky. It's tricky for them to live, right? I would imagine they would they would just not care at all. I mean, people these days don't care about climate change. Just because, yeah, sure, in 300 years, the civilization might stop existing. Who cares? I'm not going to be alive. And they're basically in the same situation. It's like, you know, yeah, sure, whatever. In 300 years, the ship is going to crash. What? Who cares? I'm not going to be alive. They would. There would be a large contingency of people acting like that but like every one of my companions is, is curious and interested in like elucidated and, and 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 just a normal person right they're all normal people and and they oh yeah uh, the ship could land it'd be a thing but yeah i don't know there's no representation of people who are insane in this setting <laughs> apart from well there's a lot of insane people don't worry about it but you know what i mean you really think they didn't know proxima was inhabited all they knew about Proxima was that it's in the habitable zone. Liquid water, atmosphere, and suitable temperature. They looked for the signs of an advanced civilization, but nothing found nothing. No electromagnetic signals, no light or chemical pollution, no megastructures. Now we know why. Mankind never expected to meet a civilization in its infancy, so the natives' settlements remained undetected until the ship got the first images from the deep space probes. What are we going to do with the natives? More like, what are they going to do with us? We're few and there are many, or will be by the time we arrive. Since Earth is 24 trillion miles away, I don't think we can expect reinforcements anytime soon. What do we know about the natives? Not much. The first images showed few isolated desert settlements far apart from each other. It could be a thriving civilization by now, or a dead one. The probes should still be transmitting data, but it's accessible only from the bridge. So your guess is as good as mine. 
Why would you think that they... They get past that state of a few settlements here and there? That's what how humans lived for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. This is like... Right? Either way. Uh, she... Oh, wait a minute. She got all of this already? She increased the... Yeah, yeah. So from, from that event, that's how she got all those... That's how she gets those skills. That's cool. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff here. We have raider boots. We have a fly apart. This is a submachine gun. Uh, the name is probably evocative. We have uh, some helmets and armor. And a jacket. A gunslinger jacket. It's armor penalty, though. A common respirator. That's interesting. Smart glasses. Thermal vision. 15. Hmm. The smart glasses didn't help us. Well, it didn't help me. Uh, we got some shield, arm guards, and reinforced bucked helmet, and another assault rifle there. Very nice. And that is that, because you loot everything at the same time. Where are we? We are... Yeah, I know where we are. I'm not going to open that, though. I will sort through my inventory here. Jed needs... A better shotgun, potentially. Double trouble. Or I need a better shotgun. And Jed just goes for melee all the time. I think that, that may be a, the best thing. We also have a toothpick. A new one. Jed is not good with that. So I would have to have like something like this. I don't see what the benefit of that is. The action point cost is the benefit, actually. So there it is. That's how he's going to be kitted out. I, on the other hand, will have this. So, it's pretty good. And, uh... Faith will not have this. And she also will not have that crappy pistol. But yeah, that one wasn't reloaded. I don't quite understand how the reloading work works. Uh, we have a 45 and we have a 9mm. But I think we are going to get better, right? This is a submachine gun. That's a revolver. It's a rounder. Wait. A Springer. Do they have... Aimed 4%. This one is reaction. Yeah, these ones increase... If you aim, it increases your armor class. Or uh, your uh, accuracy, I should say. For accuracy 6, actually. Yeah, these are good. Re reload. Accuracy 6%, aimed 4%, critical chance 2%. And this is just... This is a reaction shot. Uh, I can reload this. Yeah, we have enough. We have 45, right? Let's auto sort. I think we do... Yeah, we have a little bit. Not too much. Not too much, but we have enough for the moment. I don't think we're ever going to get into a combat where we run out of ammo. So I, I, if I do get into a place where we lose, we don't, we're running out of ammo, then, then I will take that in consideration. Let's get a flashbang here. We got a, an aggro. Maybe the flashbang should go here, actually, and maybe you should get the aggro. Even though, oh, the aggro is just melee only. Yeah, so no aggro for you. This is for protection, right? And uh, in terms of armor, yeah, his armor is good. As for Faith, her, she probably has a little bit more armor handling than than I do. She has a little bit more strength. I need to protect her head, so I will give her that, and then I will give her one of these helmets. Like the reinforced bucked helmet. Right there. Smart goggles. And a breather. Or should I wear the breather? Yeah, I don't have a helmet. Because all the helmets are heavy. I'll take the breather. And hopefully I don't get shot. Or I make up for it with, with my grit. And yeah, we don't have too many breathers. That said, Evans can't wear a jacket either. And this big jacket, even though it is cool, cannot be worn. And in terms of weapons, we're still not going with SMGs. So I think that's that. We have everything sorted for us. Very good. And we have a full team, which is very, very good. And also, I can heal. I can heal for 22, which is just absurdly good. There we go. Perfect. 
Let's go back to Earl. I think. Because he's the one that uh, gave us the quest. Job's done. Fall is dead. Well done. Check back with me in a few weeks. I might have something for you. And we gain experience. And we didn't level up though, but we do have new things. This. The remaining assigned tagged skill. I'm gonna go with Critical Strike. Since, you know, it's not amazing, but uh, since he has a sniper, or he's going to be a sniper, hopefully. So pretty good. 